So I thought I'd film you a quick video and show you what I've been working on all day today. Wasting my life away on a front end to put on a PC hooked up to a sit down driver racing cab that I'm probably never going to play. <laughs> but I guess half the fun is configuring all this stuff. So um, here's big box. I'm going to launch it. So I've added uh, a startup video uh, to the uh, the front end. And uh, I also changed themes to a neon arcade, which has that 80s vibe uh, feel to it that I think it's going to really be pretty neat. So let me just uh, fire up big box here. And then it kicks in to the uh, to the uh, the front end uh, with the neon theme uh, I've got set. Um, so my plan is to have a th I've got the 40 inch uh, monitor for the main uh, display, and then the upper portion is going to be a 32 inch, um, which is going to display what you see on the second screen right now. That's a 4:3 aspect ratio. So my goal is to going to have, uh, or should I say? Uh, the goal is to have the marquee displayed on the second screen um, above, you know, the main TV, which I think will look pretty cool. So um, here's, uh, so let me just flip through it here. So here's my arcade. And again, I've got obviously, you know, the main screen video. Then here's my N64. Um, and it plays a little video through the front end as well. And then I've got my Sega M2. Uh, emulator and then I've got obviously Windows uh, Windows I couldn't really find like a proper theme for it so I kind of you know uh, dug something up from the web and this is the best I can come up with uh, I'm still gonna try to replace that stupid Microsoft games for Windows screen because I think it drives me crazy um, but here let me go back to the arcade so here's what I really like about this theme so let me go back to Chase HQ here so what I've done, uh, you see on the far end over there, you'll see the marquee uh, that resembles a real uh, arcade machine. And then I've got this configured where on the right side, you've got uh, the, the machine. In the background, you've got the flyer. And then the front end, you've got, you know, obviously a little video uh, snap, uh, you know, playing, you know, to give you an idea of what the game, you know, looks like. So. I really like this theme because it's got that neon arcadey, you know, uh, feel to it, you know, with, with the shaggy carpet and stuff like that. Um, and then again, you know, Continental Circuit. And I tried to find images on the web of the real machine. Um, and uh, I was actually quite happy with uh, finding this Continental Circuit because this is the actual, uh, this is what the machine actually came with from the factory, you know, with the plexiglass on the sides and the 3D glasses attached to the bar. and you know, the one that I bought many, many years ago didn't have this, so. And then, of course, you know, you go down. I still got to configure a couple of games, but, I mean, you go, um, you know, you go down. Uh, you know, each game's kind of got their own little thing here, Outrun as well. And the cool thing about this is, like, when you load the game, uh, I've got it set up where you've got, you know, the box art on the left, and then you've got the flyer on the right. And again, once you load the game, the marquee stays in. And the one thing I like about this theme is, as opposed to the other one I was using, on the third model, sorry, on the second model where the marquee is placed, it just used to have a black background. And with this, they've used uh, the image from the game, but they blurred it out. So it's got that sort of, you know, uh, that, that foggy look to it, which I think looks really, really cool. Um, now, of course, this is all configured on my desktop. Um, you know, so I'll have to uh, move this over to uh, my PC probably the next couple days. But overall, yeah, I'm pretty happy. Um, again, you know, escape here and then uh, go back here again. And let's say, you know, you want to download, obviously, you want to go to Chase HQ and again.
same thing, hit enter, and there's a box art, and you know, there's the uh, flyer. Uh, there's also options to put in uh, the uh, PCB image and stuff like that, which I thought was pretty cool. I played around with it, didn't really like it. I kind of like this, um, and again, you see on the far screen again, you see how you've got like the, um, you know, like the blurred out background behind the marquee, and I'm really digging that. I think this is going to look really nice on a third monitor. So. Yeah, um, hope you enjoy this and uh, go out and spend another, you know, 100 bucks on a 32 inch monitor because you know you want to and it, you're going to mount it and never touch it ever again. So, yeah, until next time, happy driving.